How would you like your steaks done? Phil will have hers well done. Okay. I'll have mine medium well. Medium rare, please. Smashing. Those steaks are well done. I'm happy with those. I don't think that's well done. Look at it. No, there's one well done no, and no, one medium done. Up. Considering you don't spend much time in the kitchen, you're doing a lot of moaning, aren't well, you? Let me tell you something. I've spent more time in the kitchen today than I wanted to. Well, good. How's that salmon? Well, this is salmon, Dave. She'll yeah. probably have something to say about it. She's got a mouth like a trout, hasn't she? Ooh. I'll put a bit more lemon on there, cos she's quite bitter, isn't she, Sam? Ooh! <laughs> Ribeye steak with Mediterranean veggies served, and for Sam, it's baked salmon. Salmon's beautiful. Cooked just perfect. Love it. Oh, really nice. You. Really nice. You get a salmon, you wrap it in foil, you bang it in the oven. It's not cooking. It is. Really? You're cooking it, yeah, cos, but, you know. Still cooking, innit? Steaks cook very well, yes. Thank Medium you. rare. It's nice. Really nice. Fabulous. I'm not trying to offend, but... No, I, I, honest, I won't be eating anymore. The middle of my steak isn't quite cooked. Mine's is just a bit raw in the middle. I do okay. apologise. What about the veggies? It's, it's edible. Thank you. Thank you. But I can't eat. I can't eat a live cow, so... This is... Mm. The effort was there. I always love lemon and lion on my fish. I'm just going to check, make sure there's no <laughs> gold glitter. You need glitter. a bigger looking glass yeah. than that. I found some glitter on the salmon. Oh, really? There, look. I found some glitter. Last night, she said, I wouldn't dream of taking a, a magnifying glass to somebody's uh, house. She's been a hypocrite. Yeah. Right. She did it to me, and I did it back just to show that everything's fair in life. Now, now. And I couldn't help but notice the pictures on your wall, and I've noticed you with quite a few people. We have a lot of celebrity friends. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. So who are the, who's on the wall? Yeah, come on. You've got John Alton, who played Nick Cotton in EastEnders. OK. You've got Patty Boulay, who's a well-known international singer. Jason from Strictly Come Dancing. Harvey from Solid Crew. Jay MacDonald. A couple of the Nolan sisters, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Julie Goodyear and the lead singer of Oswald. Who's Oswald? When Ange and Dave started talking about celebrities and stuff like that, I was thinking to myself, who you are these people? Them. Don't you worry, Dave, save the best till last. Oh, yeah. And there's also another photo there with two friends of ours, Jay and David, and they are, you know, an advert for chicken balls and chow mein. Oh, wow. And both up-and-coming... TV personality. personality. Well, you've got to start somewhere. Dave was throwing the celebrities out left, right and central, but the chicken ball one, that just topped a lot. Wait till you hear Angie's claim to fame. Angela also also did page three. So what's page three? It's a topless model, glamour model. I'm not surprised. Yeah. You can always rely on Sam, can't you, to have that little... D. Wow. <laughs> These are the kind of looks I used to do. And she's been banging on about how classy and sophisticated she is all week, and then she reveals to us today that she used to reveal herself to page three. Very classy. OK, guys, if you'd like to join us outside, we've got a little surprise for you. Oh, wow. Okay. This song is very personal to Angela and myself. Uh, it speaks a lot about us. As a couple? As a couple, yeah. And the song's called Let It Be Me. <laughs> yeah, that's better. There you go. Take it away, guys. I bless the day I found you. It really took some guts for Dave and Ange to do that, and I thought they did it really well, in fairness to them. Each time we meet love, I'll find complete love. I heard some of those notes that Ange no. was trying to hit, and it, was it wasn't working for me. It was yeah. off key. But hey. They had fun. I think the evening regarding our hosting is going very well. And we're hoping now that the pudding is going to pull it out of the bag and not you up there again. And it's simply a matter of slicing it up and popping it out. Oh, the presentation ain't going to be very good, is it? No, I'm not surprised with the way you're digging that knife in there. Hey, let me get out. Didn't sound quite right. I thought you'd actually drop wind there, hadn't you? Dave! Would you be happy to be served that? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Yeah. 
Well, that's top class. And nothing says class more than squirty shop-bought strawberry sauce. Chocolate Tart makes its debut. Good luck out there, Chocky Tart. Get tuck in and give us your view, please. Thank you. The chocolate almost tastes like mousse, but I love mousse. I love chocolate mousse. I think it's absolutely lovely. I'm it's really beautiful. enjoying it. Thank you. It's Thank really you. nice chocolate. I think it's too. gorgeous and I don't even like chocolate. It has class, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dessert was a winner. Definitely the best course of the evening. Quite rich, but it was really nice. And I don't usually eat dessert, so that was quite good going for me. Smashed it. Smashed it. We're the winners. What they lacked in their food, they made up for in hosting with their great Definitely. personalities. Yeah, really so I think a fair score for them would be 14. Despite taking a few shortcuts with the food, we did have a good night. Entertainment yeah. was great. And for that reason, we're going to score them a 14. 14. So, Ange and Dave score a classy 28 points out of 40, putting them in the lead.